we put this video together to show you around the underground portion of this den uh, that we call the magic tree den and here this is mama fox arriving with the first of four uh, little pups that she's moving in there she's kind of uh, jammed that pup into a hollow log that's the entrance to the uh, magic tree underground den and Here's a daytime shot just to kind of give you the lay of the land here and uh, she's arriving back in the early afternoon and and she'll kind of poke her head over nearby there and she gives some kind of call to them. I'm not sure exactly what it is, uh, but she gives a little squeak or something and, and it calls the babies out uh, and they'll come out and, and greet her and play and nurse out here some and, and whatnot. But, we're going to focus on the underground uh, parts of this here. So moving into that hollow log here to sort of give you some perspective. Here's a couple of pups, uh, one of them laying in there and you can see in the next little segment that they can run up and down uh, through this hollow log and get out to the outdoors there. So it's just about a perfect fit for a little pup. Uh, it's not a real perfect fit for the adults or for raccoons or for the bigger uh, animals. Uh, but for little pups here, they love it. And interestingly, we found that they like to sleep in it uh, because there's a much bigger area uh, that's after you get on into the den uh, that's a lot bigger, roomier and whatnot. And yet they chose here of their own accord to sleep on top of each other, just piled in and they play uh, there on top of each other. and and you know uh, to where they're sort of on and off playing and sleeping and eating and and whatnot you know so it was it, it was a bit of a surprise to us they were only here in this den for 24 hours so they move in they're like four to five weeks old something like that probably uh, we don't know because this is the first time we'd seen these pups is when she carried that first one in uh, in that first video segment there and so like a month old or whatever and uh, they're still a little bit clumsy and uh, you know it, obviously you can see it's still very cute <laughs> at this age and love to play everything's about playing and 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 piling on and being you know cozy with everybody else but then they'll uh, they'll move into the bigger part of the of the underground den here into the bigger room and we can see that in the bigger room they actually get to where they can run around and wrestle more and and mama actually comes in and lays down with them uh, a little bit and and here you know she is really tolerant uh, in terms of letting them you know use her as a jungle gym and and as a chew toy and you know and and whatnot you know we've we've often wondered before really seeing the pups you know getting a chance to see them we had wondered why do the foxes have such mangled ears and oh, oh and here's here's a little bird that the parents had brought in for them and you know to eat and whatnot and we've also wondered not only their ears are mangled but their tails some are just really ragged humpy bumpy twisted broken looking tails and and once you get to see the pups play and you can see why they have humpy lumpy tails here because uh, they really get going and hanging on and it's like that guy is going to hang on and twist that tail like it's a snake he's trying to kill and you could see how somebody may get hurt uh, along the way there and they do the same thing with each other's ears they're just you know chew toys attached to puppy heads uh, basically and they'll go after the ears and you know slashing at them with claws and biting on them and dragging somebody around the, the den by their ear and whatnot. Yeah, so uh, it's, it's pretty easy to see how they come up with the, the nicks and cuts and tears in their ears. And it actually has, we, we've t sort of taken advantage of those nicks and, and it's the manner in which we identify the individual foxes as we take careful notes and photographs of the ears because once they have a nick, it'll always be there. You know, they may add more, uh, you know, as they grow and get into fights, you know, real fights uh, out in the real world. 
you know, either with other foxes, which happens uh, frequently, they fight for territory. You know, it may happen with coyotes or, or whatever, um, you know, but it's probably mainly territorial fox fighting. Uh, but in here you can see they're, they're in there practicing their, their, you know, fighting skills, <laughs> you know, getting trained up to uh, be big kids at some point and go out and learn to do their own thing with, with hunting and, you know, making do for themselves. They stay with the parents for, oh, maybe six months, something like that. Uh, we see them tagging along with parents and when they get bored here in the den, they, you know, tear up the cameras uh, for fun. Uh, so don't put a good camera in that you like. Here's mama, she's nursing. You see that she's standing up nursing. And we've observed that that's quite common uh, among the foxes, that it's, in fact, it's, it's almost the rule, uh, is that that's the preferred way of nursing. And mom will kind of drag them around, <laughs> around the tent, or if they're outdoors, drag them around on the rocks and whatnot, you know, while they just hang on. And it doesn't look very comfortable for anybody involved, but it's the way they do it. And just occasionally we'll see uh, the mother fox lay down with them and let the pups nurse on her while she's laying down and snoozing or, or whatever. But 90, 95% of the time, she stands like this uh, for them to, to nurse. Here there's only two or three of the four uh, that are nursing. And now in this picture, I think that all four uh, are getting an opportunity to get their fill. And, after that, they, you know, here's a couple who, have, who are basically kind of falling asleep in place. And uh, eventually, you know, one will, uh, a third one will come in and kind of get on top and find that it doesn't work the same way here in the open space of, you know, of the den that it does out in the log. Uh, so here's these two are kind of snuggled up. They're going to go to sleep here and... And here comes number three, who finds that if you're not inside the hollow log, you can't just use these other guys as a pillow because it simply doesn't work out that way.